to discuss on swaps and today we are going to discuss on the topic uh, differences between cash market and futures market previous slide so uh, today we will discuss on cash market and futures market meaning of cash market and futures market and what is the difference between both the cash and futures market next slide okay so last class we discussed on swaps and types of swaps swaps next so cash market any idea on what is cash market next slide see cash market see we already we have given the various examples on forward contracts so which is related to we can link with the forward contract where the party is agreed when the two parties for example party a and party b is involved in the agreement on the negotiation either the negotiation basis on very contractual basis so we are be involved only on contractual basis not the cash transactions so here previous step here the farmer uh, fixes a farmer is willing to sell a certain quantity of for example 100 or 200 kg of wheat at a fixed price see he has to wait and sell in the cash market that is what so till the fixed price in futures market till we have to wait for the, the contractual period for example we fix as a 3 months that is 90 days of period so this is called cash market next slide so financial market here they the people can trade with the future contracts so cash market we can got an example for forward contracts future contracts we can got with the futures market so which is related so what is the difference between forward contract and future contract if we uh, connect this difference we can able to make a difference between these two the major difference is so uh, in forward contract the party a and b they uh, directly enter into a contract they do not uh, trade in a, any exchange based trading or uh, the systematic happening uh, systematic trading won't happen but in the futures market we go on the either on the we approach the uh, broker that is the uh, uh, the mediation the mediation process is involved and through the systematic exchanges through systematic exchanges so here the again the two parties and the uh, one more party is involved because the exchange is involved and the broker is also involved here so they uh, only two parties involved here more than two parties involved yes next slide next slide okay if we see the difference between cash and futures market we can take the lot size as the component see if the cash in cash market there is no lot size is required okay normally the lot size comes when the uh, see for example uh, like if the uh, product is exceeding 1000 or 500 numbers we will call it as lot 1 lot 2 lot 3 so they are generally if we go for Uh, the purchasing the uh, any appearance in Tripur uh, district, uh, if you go uh, there, if they, they uh, the lot of trading will happen uh, yeah, regarding the appearance in the Tripur. So there is lot one. The people will call it as uh, Anjala Tripur, yeah, Patla Tripur. That kind of uh, uh, words we can be able to uh, acronyms we can be able to gather. So you have to know lot size is required. Any investor can trade any number of shares. Here the Uh, the shares are anything which is which is not uh, see there is no limit or there is no limitations is fixed but uh, in the futures market the lot size is required the exact number is required and the investor can only trade as per the lot size so depending upon the lot size because only based on the lot size the percentage on which the uh, volume so for example if you have One lot includes thousand volume, thousand volume of products, including one lot, which means uh, we are selling for one lot. We are selling for one lakh rupees. On non that one lakh, we will calculate the premium. So only if the lot size is uh, uh, the term appears, only when we will trade in the futures market. Okay, example the lot size of Nifty, for example hundred. If Nifty is traded at five to five zero, the value of Nifty is that is what. So 100 into 5,250 gives you 5 lakh 
25,000. Why we fix the lot is to eliminate the calculation process and to calculate the percentage, the volume percentage, accurately, not approximately. Yes, next to say. So here, seven more differences has been given. Cash market, we can put, uh, we can purchase even one share. Even one share we can purchase, but in futures and options, the minimum lots are fixed. Only this number of lots is uh, there, then the withdrawing will happen. In cash market, tangible assets are there. In derivatives, contracts, tangible and intangible. What is the difference between tangible and intangible? Tangible means we can feel it. So we can touch and feel it. I can feel the, the value of the table. I can place the weight. I can feel the how much it is useful for me today. I can place my books. I can work with the laptop. But intangible means we have to feel it. For example, we can put as a goodwill. In accounts, uh, uh, like last year, you, you would have second, uh, second semester would have a goodwill in the balance sheet. So those are the intangible assets. Honesty, truth, how truthful is uh, uh, are, how truthful is Hanuma. So that, that thing cannot be calculated in terms of percentage or any value. So cash market is used for investment. Derivatives are used for hedging, arbitration and speculation. So in case of cash market, customer must open a trading account. Here the customer open a future trading account with a derivative broker. Okay. In case of cash market, the entire amount is put up front. In case of futures, the margin money needs to be put up. Another. Here in the cash market, if 100 contracts, if 100 quantities purchased, that 100 into the price of the quantity. Here, only the margin money. So that percentage I told you, know, based on the large sixty volume, only that margin money they will initiate. Only after paying the margin money, we can initiate the uh, contracts. When an individual buys the shares, he becomes the part owner of the company. Hindi part the cash market or part of some bread. When an individual buys shares, he does not become the part. So he is just a shareholder. In case of cash market, the owner of the share is entitled to the dividends here. The process is the shareholder can able to get the dividends, but derivative holder is not entitled to get any kind of dividends or premium. Yes. Now, uh, next slide. So, if you sold a short future contract, you will hope that the bond prices rise, fall, or stable or fluctuate. So, the answer is it will fall. How? The future contract you will hope that bond prices. Bond prices on the when we fix, when we go for selling, what we will expect is normally it will fall. Next slide. Is Durga of summarize? Uh, today we saw about the cash market. Uh, cash market is all about the, like say, um, if for example, uh, A and B will uh, approach directly. Uh, and we saw about uh, future market. Future market, uh, for example, said uh, I mean uh, A and B will approach the brokers. Uh, and we saw about difference between the cash market and the uh, future market. In cash market, uh, there will be a no slot uh, lot size, um, but in future market, there is a lot size required. Um, and uh, yes, one more difference you can able to tell. It is a tangible mm. uh, and uh, future market is uh, intangible assets. Then, then cash market uh, we can trade uh, many number of uh, shares, but in there is no limit on number of shares. Yes. Even one share it can be traded. But with regard to futures market, uh, the we have a uh, requirement. Like what the is the requirement? Lot sizes. Lot sizes is required. Good. Okay. So what is the other difference? Like in futures and forward products, what is the transaction? How we deal? Here we don't initiate any transactions. There, there we have to pay what we call the term margin. It is called as margin. Okay. Thank you, Durga. Thank you, class.